Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be working on picture in picture in iMovie 11. Now most of the tips and tricks I'm about to say can work in iMovie 09, but I'll go over key differences in the two. Now if you haven't watched the tutorials I've been making from the beginning, how to make sure that you have picture in picture available is to click on iMovie, click on preferences, click on the general tab and make sure the show advanced tools box is checked. So picture in picture basically what you do is you have your original footage just import it into your project just like normal and then let's say you want to add a second layer so let's grab a, another video clip da, 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 da. you have these yellow bars again saying how long your clip is just drag it and put it in place. Once you let go of the mouse button, these options will appear. Make sure you click picture in picture. As you can see, we now have a picture in a picture. You can adjust the size, you can adjust the position, things like that. So, so these can be kind of handy. Uh, it's a common special effect that a lot of people use. But now as you can see, iMovie has two layers. It has our original footage and what we just did our overlap from. So if I try and add a another layer, let's grab one of these, and put it over to blue, I can't really do that. When I let go, picture in picture doesn't appear. So this is basically iMovie only allowing for two layers. You have layer 1 here, the background. Layer 2, the blue, is the foreground. Now, next tutorial, a little bit of foreshadowing, will be how to do multiple picture-in-pictures. Picture. So you can have multiple layers and layers, but that takes a bit of explaining, so that needs its own tutorial. Now, picture-in-picture picture, uh, works, you know, with two videos, but if you have a video and a actual picture, you could have some issues. So let's find a picture that can uh, show off. So here is a little nuke I've been working on. Once you find the picture you want to use, you don't drag it and put it into your event. You just drag it and put it exactly in your project. This little red line that you see is where the picture will start. Once you let go of the mouse button, hit picture in picture. Once again, you have your picture in your movie. If you double left click on the picture, you once again can control it with a bunch of movie assets. So these can be pretty handy there. You can click on video, change the color correction and things like that. If you also double click, you can click here on duration and make it last as long as you need. And there you go. Let me uh, explain one more point here every picture you import in is going to come default with a Ken Burns effect. If you are unfamiliar with a Ken Burns effect, don't worry. What it is, is basically a movie style where the camera will slowly zoom in on a segment of your photo. They use this a lot on the History Channel and other TV shows. Now if you're doing a sniper rifle, you don't want your scope to be slowly zooming in and out. So, how do we get rid of that? Well, there's this little thing here. I call it the gear. You just left click on it and you go to cropping, chem burns, and rotation. And you go here and you can get rid of the chem burns. You can change how big the crop box is. As the crop box gets smaller, your picture will get bigger. You can also just hit fit and it'll go straight to the normal size. So here's the crop box getting small. And there, now my picture is uh, nice and big there. So those are the basic elements of picture in picture. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I make an iMovie tutorial every two weeks. Make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates that way. Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial. Frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. 
If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.